Hello and welcome my friend and then I am planning to show you this information that what is this Digimatic Caliber and in what purpose we need that tool. And now this tool is also very high quality and I can recommend that tool to you because this maker is Mitu Toyo and this comes from this the world best country what makes this the best quality tools in the world. It is like in made in Japan. Okay and, and now I have purchased that tool and where I have in what place I purchased that. There is this my shopping place and I, I normally I used to use that ebay.com that shopping place and in here we have one one this just mine tool and it cost about 100 US dollars is, is this price 100 US dollars and this is this purpose that it cost 100 US dollars and there is this my picture and it this measurement tool look like that and I like to purchase uh, this tool from this ebay.com because this is high quality tool and this ebay.com they have excellent this uh, warranty and security service if I have any issues with my shopping uh, process. For example if I purchase that tool from uh, China and then this uh, tool lost in this uh, transportation this ebay.com they will refund all of my money back to me that's I recommend this ebay.com shopping place okay good and this this my tool price is about 100 US dollars or in the same amount in euros if you live in like like in Europe European area and then I open that package and, I'll, and I also show you that how to start use that tool and there is also a couple of my measurement items. These are original Toyota's uh, these gearbox bearings, what are really high quality parts from Toyota Cards car and that's I start use and I open first this package. And there is high quality plastic package and then their inner area what, what I like the most there is this Japanese excellent way there is quality control manager's sign and the man's name is T. Suzuki like something Taha, Tama Yuchi Suzuki and they have made in there those all measurement that how what is this my measure my, this my tools, those tolerances, and when this has been made in Japanese, I can guarantee that this Mr. Suzuki he lives in Japan, and I can even call to that man and ask that are these result really okay? But I can I can guarantee that they are. And then there is in Japanese way there is battery, what I next install, and then those nice information. That how to use this this uh, Japanese they like to do really excellent information I can say that best in the world is my thing and there is digital caliber and, and there is also this information that how to start use that but I think that I first try to use that without any information because normally Japanese tools and cars are so easy to open and look this is my package it is in vacuum vacuum plastic bag and why it is in that there is reason that then there is no any corrosion or humidity in inside and then I open this my my package and I insert this battery and there is then this my tool 
and in that tool there is this automatic uh, this uh, when I open that screw I can move that and then when I insert battery in there inside this tool start to work and there is of course in Japanese way first step battery in here look in that reason I like the Japanese because I can right away step one battery in here second close that and then uh, origin button three one second okay and first I take my battery and there was this battery in here in that area and I take the battery away battery away and then I pull out this battery and there is battery and let's look that who is this maker there's only there is no any I can see this maker in here but this must be cool battery and then in here when I think that in what sides this means it seems that this plus area is up and this is plus in here this side this is minus side and then in here of course in Japanese way there's information that in what what is this battery's type in here and I believe that this is the right way in that way and now we can see that I was right because there is this, this uh, digital meter start to work and then I insert this my cover in here and then I check this my information that please close this head mount this close in that way and now they are in close and this is like the starting point now this my tool knows that this is like zero place and then this origin I need to press that origin button at least in here is this information three, one second more at least okay this little bit deep that I I need some small tool and there is this my small sharp tool and I carefully press that button one second in inside now okay and now this system works look this is this quality and in Japanese way because this is this is so easy to use I believe that now this my system is ready for use and let's test that right away all extra items away and then then I take this my measurement part and I have in here this Toyota Corolla's carbox bearing and this is brand new and 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 I this is Go Yo Japan this uh, this bearing and I start to measure first this this outer area in here that what is this area and when I release that button and then I only move that that my tool it automatically changes this movement and that's I like this Japanese because there this can be even wet and this my system works and then I insert my tool in here and I carefully close down that in here in that way and now I believe that we can look what is this uh, amount it is 60 68.03 millimeter is this amount 60 okay good and then I think that because I have similar old old this bearing and I like to check that is this really the same that old one this was 68 uh, 68.03 and I write down this in my this paper 68.03 millimeter. Okay, good. 
And then I measure that another one that is this also similar and I insert my tool in here. And now I measure that. And now when I look that it is 60, 67.99. Okay, let's look. 67.99. Millimeter. And now there is really small difference. Look, there is this difference is uh, about it is 0 0.04 millimeter. And if we have that small difference, I can say that this is the same bearing because this is like old one and this is brand new. And of course I can check that there is in this Koyo this manufacturing number in here 256. And can I see in here yes there is also 256 and this is like used one and I believe that when this has been in compression that that's this is this 0 0.04 millimeter smaller. But this told to me that hey, these parts are similar, and then I like to also measure th this inner area. And I believe that this inner area is a little bit bigger in this old one, because this, this part is new one and there is no any use. And when we insert that in our uh, bearing in this place, there is always that there is some worn out their inner area. But let's look at what I, my tool says, that now I use this part. And I, I insert my, and then in the central point, this is a little bit complex measurement because I have to measure this in the right place. And now I believe that this is the most 20, 20, 24 point. 24.92 24.92 and I insert in here this another 24.92 millimeter in here okay and then I measure that old one and now this old one old one's holes must be bigger one and I first I insert that in, in like zero position now we can see that there is one point movement that we can reset that again so that I I do this origin mark because this is always the important thing. Okay, now it's like uh, this uh, reset, like zero position. And then I start to measure and let's look at what is this part, the most biggest amount. There is this amount is 2491. 20, 2491. 2491. Okay, and now it seems that this is actually this area was a little bit smaller, like one millimeter. One hundred and I calculate there is only one. 0.1 millimeter difference and this old one it was actually a little bit smaller than this new one but they are in same same parts that we can use those okay good and this was this information that how to use this high quality mitu toyo this measurement tool and then final part is always that we shut down this system in that way and then we insert because this is high quality tool we have to always insert this our tool back in this protective tool because these measurement tools they are so sensitive and now it's in position and of course I need this my 
quality paper that I remember. And then this paper takes humidity away and that's I insert also in that one. Okay, an excellent, excellent tool and thank you for watching and have a nice day to you.